Hi guys, I'm going to make a video about the formation and creation of rocks, stones, and mountains, if you can call that. Alright, I'm going to show you a few pictures. Um, when you go to a river, you'll find out that it's big rocks and um, even bigger if you go to a mountain. See, this is a park in California, and you see huge one single rock mountain. Okay. So you just get closer to that. And then uh, I'm going to show you another picture of the same park. And you'll see there's other mountains, one single rock mountains. All right. So I'm going to uh, show you the, my chart. My, okay. Because about this. A uh, long time ago, uh, it was a civilization that have a plan it was planet of giants from 100 million to 300 million everything was giant giant trees giant animals giant, giant humans uh 200 300 feet maybe taller and big and the evidence is petrified woods uh fossils of human giants fossils of footprints and fossils of animals now showing you that i'm going to back to my chart and uh, i'm going to show you uh, uh evidence the big giant trees and you can tell they're huge okay i'm gonna get closer to the to the picture and you see the bark tree bark well it's still in place some of them fall off but it's still in place so it's a giant tree big as a mountain so uh this is another tree first of all i'm going to show you before i show you the tree uh over here is, is a city or a town so this big tree is next to a city but you can tell it's huge so big big as a mountain but i'm gonna get closer also you can see the barks still in place okay so um it's it's a tree but it's giant tree okay so i'm going to go to my next picture uh like i said they were giants human giants big as a mountain and this is in peru as you read it but it's everywhere in the world so i suggest if you want more information you should start going and search okay and everything starts because a magnetic uh, the earth goes into a cycle every 12,000 years they call magnetic extinction this cycle and I'm going to show you another chart this is about uh, the chart of uh, every single well this is only one small period um, but this is the chart of uh, uh, nor, uh, what it call uh, mm, Pole shift and pole reversal. That's what they call. All right. Last one we have of the pole shift. That was 12,000 years ago. Now, if you read over here, it says magnetic extinction, uh, ice events and extinctions. So if you follow this line, you see that 12,000 years ago was the global disaster. And 12,000 years ago, this is about, in the Bible says the, uh, the Noah's Ark, well, this is 12,000 years ago. Now, if you follow down, see, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, every 12,000 years is a cycle. And if you follow this line all the way, also was a global disaster. And uh, um, you get over here, I got to show you this, why? One, two, three, four, five. Every five cycles, the earth goes um, like this. The earth it gets to a longer um, cycle. That means around the sun, it takes longer. Uh, faster in the middle, but longer in the winters. So we have long winters. And sometimes we get caught in these effects. And they call Malankovic cycle. And the effects is when you get like... Pole, uh, pole shift total disaster but not to worry because we only gonna have a pole shift this time so um i'm gonna show you next chart what happens the, the earth has a like a ring of fire 
everywhere. And uh, the Srina fire, um, the earth uh, somewhere in the tropics gonna get this Srina fire more active. And this time the Srina fire more active is over here. I'm gonna show you next picture. And as you see, all the volcanoes, uh, it's like uh, the earth is very, it's getting prepared. So all these uh, volcanoes start, start very active and uh, they get polarized. So that means it's getting ready for a, uh, a flip. I'm going to go to this. I'm going to play a video, a very tiny video. Let it go. Scientist Eric Ivins gets to the problem. Our magnetic field may be in the process of flipping. Are we talking about a total flip? All right, so it's all I want you to hear, the flipping. And uh, uh, like I say, this is the our, our Earth. And this is the uh, Arctic zone po getting polarized. What happened? The Earth is going to flip, flip to the north. This is going to be our North Pole. And the North Pole is going to flip down to the, to the middle. And so that's what happens. So before I go into the next picture, what happened? This is tropical. So that means it's a lot of fish in the ocean, a lot of uh, humans, a lot of uh, animals, a lot of uh, a, uh, trees, because this, they also get freeze and they get petrified too. So what happened? They're going to flip and this is going to be in the north and the, whatever is already in the ground is going to just drop dead. Because nobody will have the chance for survival. And so <clears throat> what happened when you were on the pole, North Pole, um, immediately you're going to frost or freeze. And immediately it's going to um, get over you thousands of tons of ice. And uh, you're going to be in the ground. And after you're dead, the pressure of half a mile uh, ice, or maybe bigger than that, maybe one mile of ice, that pressure will squish you down, will pressure so much that you're gonna be just a little tiny rock. And uh, you're gonna be underneath ice for 13,000 years, absorbing minerals from the water and ice. And that's how you, uh, how they become petrified. And like I say, every single stone, I'm going to go back to my chart again. Every single stone is one, if it's very, very tiny one, it's a small animal. For a little bigger, bigger animal. And um, if you see bigger, that means it was bigger. If you got when this size is big, not to worry, because now they don't, we don't have giants anymore. And, and we don't have uh, big trees either. So just a small tiny rocks. But um, what I'm telling you is that now that's the formation. Because now these trees, and now we can tell that it is our past, because now these are uh, these trees are petrified. And so that's the that's the formation of uh, stone and rocks. And, <clears throat> and that's how we get petrified. Um, okay, thank you for listening. And I hope you learned something today and see you on the next video. Bye.